As a boy, growing up in Brazil, Romero Brito had a big dream. He wanted to be a diplomat. He wanted to see the world. It didn't take long for Romero to realize his ticket to the world would be through his art. One of nine children and money tight, there were no art supplies. But with scraps of paper and whatever paint he could find, Romero's talents began to emerge, painting at every chance soon he would create and sell the first Romero Brito original. So it was like a collage of stamps that I took from my mother's letters and I did like a kabuki of flowers with orange and the stamps. It was like, and I tried to sell to my teacher. She didn't want it to buy. And then the neighbor, my neighbor said, I'll buy it. So I sold to my neighbor. I was so excited about that. It was great. The first sale at age 14, an artist was born. My challenged childhood brought me to where I am right now because, you know, I see the possibilities. I see how many things can be possible for me and my art. And Romero had a gift and he wanted to share that gift. Miami would soon welcome the still unknown artist, and it's in Miami where Romero's career took off. Romero's vibrant, bold, and colorful art and South Florida were made for one another. And soon everyone learned his name and his signature painting style. Absolute Vodka commissioned Romero for its campaign, putting him in the same category as the great Andy Warhol, the success that followed is the stuff of Hollywood movies. An artist who just months before was painting on the streets hits it big. I've been very blessed, basically, because, you know, I, I know that in the arts it's very rare, you know, this to happen. You know, you see, you know, the world that so many people doing so many things, but the arts is a very unique, you know, world, you know. It's like, it's not like any other business, you know. So I've been very lucky and blessed to have this gift. And, uh, and um, it's been a great time because, you know, a lot of time, you know, an artist, you can have an amazing talent, but if you are not open to possibilities, you know, and all that talent can be like all gone because now you cannot have people to share because you don't, you know, I, I can imagine artists that they don't want to share their art to people, with people out there. Everyone wanted a burrito, from royalty, to heads of state, to business moguls, movie stars, sports stars, rock stars, and just about everyone in between. The burrito sensation was sweeping, first the United States, and then exploding into a global brand. From monumental pyramids in London's Hyde Park, an exhibit at the Carousel de Louvre in the Salon de la Société Nationale des Beaux-Arts, the first living artist to ever have a show at the Sumaya Museum in Mexico, Super Bowls, World Cups, Olympics, and on and on and on, even going full circle back to his native Brazil to open Carnival with a tribute to his career. So that day in Rio de Janeiro, they opened, there was 90,000, more than 90,000 people on the boulevard. It's a special boulevard only for this, for the carnival. And they, they are televised all over Brazil. So hundreds of millions of people in Brazil um, see that and it was all over everywhere. I couldn't believe that. I was so nervous. I dried up, actually. My mouth was, I didn't have no saliva, actually. And I jumped a lot. My son was there with me. It was, we had the best time. It was an amazing moment, actually, to be there. The business world was also inspired. Audi, Volvo, Bentley, Mini Cooper, Coca-Cola, Walt Disney, Hublot, 
Mattel, just to name a few. But through it all, the incredible success, Romero has never forgotten where he came from, sharing his art, time, and love with more than 250 charitable organizations, including serving on the board of Prince's Trust International, an artist, an activist, always giving back, always inspiring. As a boy growing up in Brazil, Romero Brito had a big dream. He wanted to be a diplomat. He wanted to see the world. Romero Brito certainly achieved that goal. His art has reached galleries and museums in more than 100 countries. Diplomacy through art, adding color to the world, inspiring art lovers, collectors, and sharing art that always brings a smile to your face. I am very excited about being alive and I want to make sure that every day, whatever I'm doing, something meaningful, that I can do something and with my art, you know, that I can do makes me happy and I can share this with people you know and that, that makes me that drives me that makes me excited about waking up in the morning and come to the studio and create paintings and share you know my everyday my art with people I care and, uh, and I love what I do and and you know I definitely you know want to make the best you know of everything I definitely want my work to bring a smile on people's face and they, you know, I want to create images of hope and happiness and people can get inspired.